When a colony is being established, there are many things that need to be done. Order maintained, roads built, and town sites laid out. We call this infrastructure, the structural underpinning of a civilization. In 1858, the British Colonial Office established a new brigade to look after these things in the new colony of British Columbia. It was called the Columbia Detachment of the Royal Engineers. The Royal Engineers were an elite corps of soldiers who also had skills in architecture, surveying, and road and bridge building. They came to Gold Rush, British Columbia in response to a plea from Governor James Douglas, who wanted to avoid the kind of trouble that California had during its gold rush a few years earlier. Colonel Richard Moody, their commanding officer, arrived on Christmas Day, 1858. One of his first duties was to select a town site for the capital of the new mainland colony. Queen Victoria named the town New Westminster, and people still call it the Royal City. Once the capital was established, the engineers built their barracks and headquarters just east of the town. Enlisted men in the Royal Engineers were called sappers, and so the camp became known as Sapperton. One of the colony's most pressing needs was transportation, especially to bring miners and supplies into the gold regions. The Royal Engineers laid out a trail from New Westminster to Burrard Inlet, and they surveyed the route of the Caribou Wagon Road north to Quenelle. Among their greatest achievements was building a road through the treacherous Fraser Canyon. They also created town plans for Hope, Lytton, and Yale, as well as New Westminster. But the engineers were expensive to maintain. In 1863, the colonial office in London disbanded the Columbia Detachment. The men were given a choice of returning to England or settling in British Columbia with 150 acres of free land. Having come here to build the foundations of a new society, most of them stayed and helped to build it personally in other ways. <laughs>